Summer is here, and assuming the sun can escape from the rain clouds in southeastern Kelloland, many of you will be heading outside to enjoy local waterways. But before you go out to kayak or paddle, there are a few things you should know. Kelloland's Dan Santella brings you the reminders on the night beat. Dan? Sammy, we've seen a lot of rain in this area recently. So today I wanted to find out if people should be out kayaking or paddling on rivers and lakes in the Sioux Falls area. The answer, as it turns out, is it depends. Mitchell Joldersma is president of Sioux Empire Paddlers. Tonight, he was on Colville Lake teaching these kids about kayaking. Right next to my boat and just bring it all across my boat. He says it's fine to be kayaking or paddling on a lake right now in the Sioux Falls area. The same goes for the Big Sioux River in town. Well, right now, if you're paddling, if you want to go on the river, I would stay in town because the flow is good in town because they have floodgates, so they stop the water. Out of town is different. On the outside of town, I'd probably stay off right now. Our club actually had an overnight trip last weekend. It got canceled, and we also canceled it again this weekend because of two high waters. Uh, with Novus Paddlers, this is not safe with down trees in the current right now. Minnehaha County Emergency Manager Linda Young agrees that kayaking on the Big Sioux River in Sioux Falls is fine. In and around the city of Sioux Falls, the water level is below flood stage um, from the Split Rock Creek and north on the river where it comes into Sioux Falls by the airport. All the way around the city of Sioux Falls is is below flood stage. But if the water is above flood level, DeYoung says stay away. I'm not recommending anyone on any river um, or creek around the Sioux Falls or even any area if it's above flood stage to be on it. Both men stress the importance of a life jacket. Well, number one, wear your life jacket. That's the number one rule. Earlier today, I asked our chief meteorologist, Jay Trobeck, about a good resource for checking if a local river is at a flood stage. Check out this story at kelland.com for the link he sent me to the National Weather Service's website.